Hey you guys and welcome back to Rames Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. This was sent to me on Keymailer by the devs for free. This is a free game. They're not buying my opinion though. I will say whatever I want about it. This is the first impression. I've seen stuff on it from a different YouTuber, but for me playing it, this is a first impression. Uh, not going in necessarily blind, but like I said, I haven't played it before. So we're going to do story mode. Alright, uh, real quick, I'd like to turn the commentator up a little bit. So, WASD to move, mouse 1 to attack, A and D plus mouse 1 is a horizontal attack. I don't. Blocking happens automatically when swords collide, okay. Interesting. Entirely an accident, but he died, so whatever. Uh, settings are a little bit quieter than they originally led on to believe that they would be. So, yeah. I might be changing that a few times during this video, but that's fine. There is no sprinting. There is no anything. In the next round, human faces more than one sword robot. So this is where we get to choose our rewards. We can get some of these rewards, or like our upgrades rather. We get some of these rewarded to us by doing challenges. Um, but I haven't done any yet. Blocks projectiles in a... I assume that's supposed to say... 90 degree. Uh, you can get clones for extra lives, basically. If you think that a level is too hard for you, you can get a clone for an extra life. I don't really want a bow. Uh, get a fire sword. Uh, previously, the upgrade seemed pretty one to one. Pretty hard to do this without actually strafing, in my opinion. They do jump quite a bit, it seems. Game is so quiet. Maybe later it volume. So, the settings themselves have have volume settings, but like the music, oh there it is. So why the sound volume is extremely um, stupid. Get a little bit of this music going on now. Hopefully, it's not too bad. They actually do talk um, when they're saying all that. I should do the block arrows one. Honestly. Yay! Brighter fire. I don't know what any of these do. When I watched content on it, the game had just come out. Like the very first content that had come out on YouTube for it. So I don't know what to expect. Probably turned around before I die, but I was getting a quick drink. Oh crap, they all do arrows. Oh boy. I can jump, mind you. I'm just, I'm not. I 
So this game does get more difficult. Uh, right now I'd say it's pretty easy, or I'm just getting pretty lucky. Victory. Your superior upgrades meant this human survived. Yeah, I'm also confused why they call me a human. A beautiful combination. Yes, a classic. But I do like the, uh, the announcers. They're very amusing. I don't really want to kick opponents over. I don't really want to fly forward because um, something about flying accidentally into projectiles doesn't sound like my kind of thing. Nice typo there. Deflects projectiles at the target you look at. Interesting. Still, that seems very sketchy. Get the bow. So number two is the bow. It does as follows. That bar down there, I need a full energy capacity in order to shoot the bow. Reasons it's not immediately great. Uh, the good news about it is age 36, favorite color. Hold a Conway. I'm definitely a robot though. Uh, it does start charging once you're holding it. So it is beneficial to start to level, charging your bow, if you plan on using it. You'll get an immediate two shots off. Probably should have considered that. The whole me getting owned by archers thing, more specifically. The robots are pretty stupid when it comes to these things it seems so honestly just going for the archers first whoops it actually seems pretty difficult to hit with the bow I don't know what about it is difficult though They honestly don't seem to do a whole lot. I'm trying to see where you would have to hit the robot in order to make the bow more useful. Can't tell if this guy is alive or dead, so I'm gonna shoot him. Really not getting the answers I seek on the bow though. Alright, shot him in half. Whatever. I love that smell of energy swords in the morning. Come in, Patrick! Took a little bit of damage. Now what appears to be my torso right above my uh, hips. There's a couple blocks missing. I'm liking this though. Might be a shorter video. Uh, honestly, we'll just go as long as we can. There's no need to block air arrows if you're not a scrub, so... What I would like to see though, um, I don't know, there's not too many upgrades, so in my opinion, asking for something like this, again, I don't even know if it's released yet. Oh. Boom. So this is a boss fight. Oh. Sort of. The harvesting fleet is traveling towards the closest human outpost. We will harvest their minds. And destroy their bodies. Okay. In the meantime, let us watch this human get torn apart by our latest combat robot. I give you Spider Tron 5000. So, like I said, I've seen videos on this. I kind of know, sort of. That was stupid of me. Honestly, I'm just going to try to take this guy on with the uh, arrows. 
These guys are getting knocked out by this guy's bombs, so... There we go, he's down. Now I'll just strafe these guys with arrows. I've already taken a hit. Not every hit is fatal. That has been made obvious probably multiple times. I don't know if damage is persistent either, I assume it's not. See that guy's hopping on one leg now? Uh, I can take out both of his legs and still not kill him. That way it was guaranteed to kill one person, but it actually sliced through two. Let's not be a, a wuss. This human was a professional video gamer. Huh. I am a professional video gamer. You got it. What? Was this up? Oh, neat. Aw, oh, dang. I actually wanted to see if I couldn't kill one of these guys. Interesting. I wonder if I get anything for that. Honestly, I just wanted to see if it could happen. Also, can I shoot at these guys? That's the Emperor up here, so I probably shouldn't shoot at him. Dang. Alright, whatever, I'm gonna stop. Let's go ahead and move on to the next level. I wouldn't say I'm getting bored, I'm just saying I'm getting distracted. I don't know what kind of achievements there are in this game, if any. There are achievements. They appear to be related just to challenges, though. How do you defeat the Mark II sword robots? You have to watch out. They can knock your sword aside. Interesting. You could oh. always shoot or kick them. A delicate dance. Yes. I'm going to get arrow width because arrow width seems to be working out pretty well. Arrows do pierce. To what extent, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be a one-off video unless we do challenges. Hmm. We shall defeat them. The old-fashioned way. Uh, just kite them around, honestly. Through the spikes and stuff. Kill them when they land, because just like anything else, they can't make too many inputs, too many changes in mid-air. Their AI does seem oversimplified, so... There you go. Victory. Make sure to thank the upgrade bot. Upgrade bots doing all the work for me. I guess I'm a human. Uh, I'm a I'm a robot with a human mind, perhaps. What is better than Spider -tron 5, Two Spider Tron. How'd <laughs> I know? Energy capacity means I can shoot. Uh, flame breath. Interesting. I would actually like the recharge rate. I'm gonna do this on one life and see how long we get. I actually kinda like playing with a bow, it's nice and cheap. And we've got an upgraded sword already, so. See what we can do. There we go. Dang, that was a bad shot. Normally you try to line them up. That too is a pretty bad shot. So if you knock out the legs, it will actually face you when it shoots. And it can get kind of awkward because it'll just start throwing bombs literally all over the place. And that kind of unpredictability is not what I want. 
kind of took out his arm, didn't actually do a whole lot. You can see him hobbling around right there. Took out another segment of its leg, but didn't actually do a whole lot. Really want to kill the bow guy. Oh. Ouch. Uh, I was not paying attention to the arrow guy. Katrina, Roland. So I guess I get to show you. Challenger, a small dog. <laughs> Just kidding. It is another human. Machine. So yeah, uh that's it. Victory. That would have never happened, by the way, had I not like lapsed for a second and stopped paying attention to anything. I was so focused on getting that shot on the when you are surrounded by robots with swords, you need to not get hit by their <laughs> attacks. Blocking or kicking is very effective against sword robots. We will see what the human chooses. Previously, I think these guys are more rude to you. But yeah, uh, we're back at level 1. Basically, that is it. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, you don't get to see what's at the end. We've already been recording for 16 minutes, so I'm just going to call that it. This has been Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.